Hi guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. So this is gonna be the last video on the project let's build the preamplifier using uh, AliExpress parts because it's all finished. So you can see here the preamplifier is all nice and neat and I'm happy that I could uh, keep the things that the chassis have like the treble, bass, uh, the med media volume which is controlling the Bluetooth and uh, radio and the USB player over here. The aux is controlling the volume through the RCA aux uh, input. I can drive uh, an amplifier and also this one just I need to modify to put headphones here because this one is the volume from the headphone and this is the headphone jack sound really nice my ears they don't lie i really like how it sound and also in the measurements it's come really good one and this is the power supply if you don't see the video when i build it because i do i did a, a live stream when i build so if you want to see how it looks inside i'm gonna put the links down below for those video when i build it on a live stream and if you like to watch it uh, go and watch it to see how it is inside this uh, power supply definitely from this cable i have uh, dual 15 and dual 12 and one 5 volts that come to power this uh, preamplifier and uh, we also learn or on the way that not all the preamplifiers sound nice we test lots of boards and uh, some of them they come as a trash because they don't do whatever they should do so they put just noise and they don't work nice and by the way i choose the best one and i really like how it's uh, sound and also how measures so please watch till the end because we're gonna have an oscilloscope test and also a spectrum analyzer test but first let's see how it sound so here we go i have everything set up so i'm gonna use my uh, mx50 amplifier which i built uh, a while ago i'm gonna put uh, on description down below the links of the video series when i build this one if you want to watch it the preamplifier which i uh, finish it the power supply over here everything is power on so I have this mobile which is connected through a aux so I can control the volume with this potentiometer and this is via Bluetooth and I can control the volume with this potentiometer. So let's have a quick uh, sound test. So 
yeah, let me know in the comments down below how do you think uh, it sounds. It sounds nice to you or it sounds uh, bad? Because I just recorded through the amplifier and through the speaker with the stereo microphones. So there is no more hum. That hum that was the, uh, before looks like it's disappeared now that is everything in the chassis in the special that we have uh, star ground. And I'm using this... Uh, signal generator and uh, let's have a look a bit on it what is the thd that comes straight away from the it so i connected straight away the i can see over here straight away from the signal generator to the oscilloscope which i'm measuring this uh, spectrum analyzer over here and we can go to a bit to see that i'm injecting one kilohertz signal and is a uh, 2.4 peak to peak so it's almost uh, 0 db on the output maybe just a little bit to put out because see this line over there this one there is the zero db so i should be almost there in zero db so uh, yeah it's almost there because this this spike is the one kilohertz uh, spike as you can see there I, if i if i put the arrow on that spike it shows you that is one kilohertz signal and the other one is everything what is the floor noise so let's have a look over here so we have a 789 700 90 let's see the rms voltage on the output from the signal generator and we can see that uh, the total harmonic distortion what the signal generator is giving you is fluctuated between 0 0.03 up to 0 0.1 so keep in mind because uh, this will gonna need to be deducted uh, out from when we're gonna measure the output of the preamplifier and uh, you can see the total uh, total harmonic distortion plus noise is uh, 0.2 db and the total harmonic distortion the calculated on db is minus 60 db over there something like that minus 55 and minus 60 something like that so uh, good results i can say so yeah yeah, let me now connect everything on the output of the preamplifier and see what are the measurements. Alright, so what you can see on the right side is the oscilloscope and on the left side we still have the spectrum analyzer. So now I'm measuring the output of the preamplifier. So on the output of the preamplifier we can uh, see that we feeding in uh, same uh, one kilohertz only that now the signal generator is feeding up only 720 millivolts peak to peak and on the output peak to peak we have 2.3 volts so this mean is a magnification almost three times of the signal and uh, on the thd looks like we have almost the same like when we measure just the signal generator we have same 0 0.2 and two total harmonic distortion plus noise and we have the total harmonic distortion on db measure it exactly the same like when i measure it only the signal generator yeah so practically doesn't do any kind of total distortions or display amplifier so keep the signal normally so now i'm gonna try to run a frequency response uh, test bear in mind that now we are uh, testing with the tone correction so i might need to alter the potentiometers in order to make sure that we are keeping the same level because if i go like now how they are on uh, max because we are measuring on max the total harmonic distortion to make sure there is no distortion when we listen to a song to a max volume so let me just uh, go the signal uh, signal generator to 200 to 20 hertz and we will gonna start from there because the sound uh, frequency starts somewhere there so if i do an auto set let's see what we have so we can see that is amplified a bit more the um, the bass so we have on the peak to peak now 3.7 and i don't change the voltage input so the voltage input is still the same 720 millivolts on the input so looks like we are uh, amplifying the bass so let me bring back the bass to around uh, 2.2 to have uh, so we are almost there in the same peak to peak like how was also with uh, with one kilohertz so 
let's see the distortion what it says so distortion it say that is uh go a bit high but maybe because i don't give an auto set so let me give an auto set to the spectrum analyzer and let's see what is coming up so looks like it's not picking up the 20 hertz all right so the spectrum analyzer can't analyze the 20 hertz no problem we're gonna ramp up to so let's keep an eye oh looks like it's coming but very slow because it's just a frequency slow frequency so we have uh, 2.1 peak to peak so let's close this one from here so 2.1 so we need to increase a bit to 2.3 so we are almost there i can see now for a peak to peak over here on the oscilloscope it says 2.3 the peak to peak and here is 2.3 let's see what it says on the on the spectrum on the spectrum is 2.3 also the peak to peak and the thd it's uh, 0.1 something like that thd plus no no look now is go back to 0 0.04 so it's oscillating a bit so i think we are in the same level because here is 0 0.67 0 0.61 the total harmonic distortion in db so it's minus 59 db as you can see over there and uh, now let's go back no let's see 100 hertz let's see what is uh, giving us so we are in 100 hertz right now so i need to do an auto set to this uh, oscilloscope and an auto set to our spectrum analyzer so let's see what we are picking up now so now we are on uh, 2.2 and here we are in 2.2 uh, peak to peak so maybe a bit increasing over here yeah we are now in 2.3 so in 2.3 on 100 still it's low the thd so it's fine let's now go to the 500 hertz let's see in 500 hertz what we will gonna have and auto set auto set the 500 doesn't want to pick it up the oscilloscope oh because the peak to peak is slide is slow so i need to increase to 2.2.3 so a bit bucking up so we are almost there so let's auto set both of them so yeah we are in 2.4 so let me back up to 2.3 so 2.3 over there the spectrum analyzer still measuring 2.2 so a bit higher i need to go so yeah we are in 2.3 and the total harmonic distortion is still low is 0 0.0 something so now let's go back to 1k so back to 1k and we need to adjust a bit this one to 2.3 again so 2.3 we are almost there so yeah we are in 2.3 and 1 kilohertz we know see 0 0.05 sometimes 0 0.07 so that's good let's go to 5 kilohertz right now so 5 kilohertz let's give also a auto set over here and a auto set over here and in 5 kilohertz looks like we have a lots of noise around over here i don't know which is the computer that put this noise i can see we have a spike of 15 kilohertz over there and and uh, I think I know why because we are low on the on the peak to peak so maybe we need to go a bit more up let's go to 2.3 back to 2.3 so we are almost there so let's do auto set I need to back up because the signal is distorted too much so there is looks like the signal is good and here we are on 5 kilohertz looks like there is a lots of uh, distortions yeah because i need to play with this one yeah so let me back it up there in 720 millivolts 720 over there and i need to bring down this one to 2.3 so 2.3 we are over there so now auto set and auto set over here and let's see what we have anyway we can see that there is a spike 
around there so maybe a little bit more down yeah somewhere there so auto set looks like we are picking up some noises over here one spike over there around 15 kilohertz and some noise around uh, 11 kilohertz maybe can be the power supply of my computer because when i run some other test the computer was not on so anyway with thd we have 0, 0.0 something still so we are still staying good with the thd and the signal is the same so let's increase now to 10 kilohertz so we are in 10 kilohertz and i need to play a bit with this one this one can stay there so now i can lower the highs yeah so if i lower the highs to 2.3 somewhere there 2.8 yeah 2.3 over there auto set and we go auto set also in the spectrum analyzer looks like we have again some noises around there at 331 kilohertz that one definitely you will not hear it and thd is still uh, 0, 0.0 something so still the same on the thd so it's running still good let's see 15 kilohertz 15 kilohertz we are on the same point let's do auto set and auto set to the spectrum also have a look here lots of spikes at almost 100 kilohertz oh looks like we have a lots of noise around over there and these high frequencies over here but let's see the thd how it's still going so it's still going good 0, 0.0 something and here the total in in db it's minus 60 something minus 50 the signal is still okay and uh, let's go now to 20 kilohertz 20 kilohertz let's adjust this one back to 2.3 yeah we are there on 2.3 auto set over there and auto set over here so always keep in mind the spike this is the spike that is measuring 0 db over there all the time and uh, total unmoring distortion still 0, 0.0 something which is good total unmoring distortion plus noise is still good the signal it's still the sine wave still pure so it's not uh, getting deformed and now let's go up to 25 and we we're gonna stop there because this is the spectrum analyzer for the audio frequencies so from 20 hertz up to 25 kilohertz something like that so here we are in the same voltage i can see peak to peak 2.3 signal is still looking good here we have more noises around you can see lots of spikes uh, lots of spikes and we are same in 0 db over there 25 kilohertz the total harmonic distortion is still in 0, 0.0 something which is good the output is still the same and uh, total harmonic distortion plus noise minus 0.7 let's see 80 db because it's measuring this one in db and total harmonic distortion on measure it on db it's minus 60 something let's see yeah looking good this preamplifier so i'm really pleased with the measurements that uh, i took on this uh, preamplifier for me they measure really nice and really good please let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts about these measurements if are good to you or they are measuring bad just let me know i want to heard also your uh, thoughts about it and on listening i'm really pleased also how it sounds it sound natural and i really like that the highs are really crisp and natural and the uh, bass is there is amplifying a lot of bass so yeah i'm really pleased with this preamplifier then for the next projects i'm not sure what i will gonna do the next but uh, stay tuned please subscribe activate notification bell if you are new watching my channel because definitely i will gonna come with something nice also and if you are interested in all the tools which i use it on this video and uh, whatever i have around my working bench check the links on the description down below until the next video guys have a good day and bye bye